We got the laser, finally! It's uh, Tim from Crowdlays and we're back again for another week. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. There's not going to be any uh, tutorials, there's not going to be any step by steps, there's uh, not going to be even a run through of the way we do our process. Today we're doing an unboxing. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It's uh, Tim from Crowdlays. We're sitting out the front out here because uh, we've got a truck coming. Our laser's on its, on its way so I've cleared a spot there in my shed ready to put it in there when it comes but um, yeah I'm out here at the front out here. The, Truck's just on its way, so it's coming shortly. <laughs> hey, it's here. There you go. We got the laser finally. Hey. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, try and chop her open. It's a piece of old board. Now, to get this fella off, and it's kind of the wrong way around, but there's the machine. It's uh, back to front. Okay, this one is also um, interesting. It's just a uh, extraction unit. And we've just got a couple little tubes here. Little tubes. Into that, another little traction unit. That's the tubes, mount another tube, we've got that unit there. There you go, and we've got these bars here, little bars. Hey guys, do you think this channel is going pretty cool? Do you think it's upgrading and getting a little bit better? Make sure that you subscribe, hit that bell icon down there. Come on, let's get going. We'll keep watching this unboxing. In our next few videos, it's going to be something pretty cool after doing this, because this new laser is pretty cool. Right, come on. Because the uh, machine came in um, back to front, we'll uh, take you a bit of a walk around this machine here. And there we go, that's our new laser. Pretty awesome. How cool is that? So what I'm going to have to do now is uh, just going to have to unscrew the mounts on that thing there, um, rip it off of that little uh, pallet that we've got down there and um, wheel it inside and then we'll go from there. Okay guys, I just got to show you this one here. This is pretty cool. What they've done is um, they've, got a, they've got a little board down here with these little hand screws on here. You just unscrew those ones out. And just pull that out of there. And say on the other side there, and this board just lifts out. What they've done is you can see these couple of little ramps they've built and they've put in there. So you can just take this bit of foam out of the road, like that. And then you've got this little ramp here that they've built. On the sides there, they can drop that down in there. A nice little ramp. That's a cool little thing, thank you. have it. The new laser is in place. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of stuff laying around here now. This is all for the extraction unit, this part here. So I've got a bit of work ahead of me here to assemble this all together. There you go guys, I um, finally got the extraction unit all um, assembled. And there we go. So it's just an ordinary old um, extraction unit. that I'll get my dust and stuff ready for my laser. Okay, so I um, finally got all that extraction unit finished. So now it's time to uh, uh, get these boxes out of here and see what see what they've given us in these little um, boxes in here. Now for this next box here, 
it's already open. And what have we got in this one? We've got a little folder. Looks like some um, materials here from the supplier. A few samples. The, label, the plastic stuff. There we go. We've got our extraction unit box for putting on the back of the laser so I can plug my uh, extraction unit into it. So I'll have to put that on in a minute. Got a big booklet here. Huh. There you go, not many places still print out the entire manual. Looks like they've just downloaded that off the internet and uh, printed it out, but it's really good that we've got a physical copy printed out because that's a lot of paper. <laughs> What else have they thrown in here? There you go. Little flashy light. So you put that on and let it know when the laser's on and live. A few more little samples. Straight from Epilogue themselves, this one. So a piece of um, very lightweight wood. Piece of aluminium. This little keychain thing, which has got wood on either side, that kind of looks cute. And a piece of glass in there, so we've just got a little glass sample. Oh, it's a um, coaster, a glass coaster with a little rubber grommets on it. Put that back in there to keep that safe. And it's just the epilogue thing. Now, this box. A little tool belt thing. So they've got a couple of little tools and stuff to be able to just do a bit of light maintenance to this thing, just to tighten up cabinets and whatever else. Get some mirrors and things. instruction booklet for something. We'll open that up and have a look at what's in there. So we've got an instruction booklet uh, to verify laser alignment. So it's just a little guide there just to help you with the laser alignment. Some lens cleaning fluid and a little bit of tube, little tube for the to blow air through the tube near the laser to keep it clean. Um, a very short little printer cable and also a ethernet cable which for in my room here I might end up using either Wi-Fi or I could end up just getting a longer cable and I might better run it from the, the other computer over there and bring it across here to this one. So we're just going to decide whether I'm going to use Wi-Fi or a longer cable. This one's not going to be long enough. Some bearing grease. Little power cable, kind of like a standard computer one, but a little bit thicker. That would be good. I've got power right here next to the unit, so it's good. Another sheet of some plastic. And there's another one. Looks like this one here's got your little pin tool for aligning the, um, the lasers up to the bed, and you just bring it up to where that pin goes, and then then you know that you've got the laser in focus and also got this little focusing um, panel here I'd say you'd have to sit that in with the lens and um, just to make sure your lasers align so a little target a little target piece um, and there's the other target piece so they must sit over the top of where the other lenses go and just align that mirror then go to align the other one and you got the final one. Um, this is this is the little bit of paper that shows you where to put those little units. These things here sit on top of where that image is showing you. To align it. Uh, I'm guessing this um, USB stick, you have to have that plugged in to, to make it work or it could even be just for drip bringing files over and plugging it in and just putting the files in manually. So um, we'll find out what that one's for. And a little 
quick start guide. Shows you what we've got in the pack. All right, so we just got this last box here now. This is the other box they threw in there. Aha, this one's the pump. This one's the, to pump the air through that little tube that's down there. So this is the manual for it. And we've got the little pump down in here. So little tubes for it. Some little connector pieces, clamps, and got our pump. So it's a little pump to help the air assist on the laser. You need one of these. It stops flame ups, um, some of the substrates burning and things like that. It also keeps the lenses a bit cleaner. So it's a very handy little thing to have. So bring you over here and have a look. And this is the menu. So what we'll do is uh, we'll have a look in here. There's our laser. Um, so they're all got it in their um, inches because that's how Americans like to talk. So we may need to change that to be a bit more Australian. And I'm guessing settings, system. Got a lot of different settings that you can set up in here. I'm guessing, oh, there we go, uh, display units. We want to change that one. That's the first thing we're going to do. Now, in millimeters, we can talk better to it. So I might have to go through all these settings, um, set it all up, get it connected to my computer. We have to go through the network here and we can choose USB, ethernet or wireless to be able to set it up to our I'm guessing we'll just do our home wireless ne network here. We'll set it up to a network and get that going. So we've got it connected to our uh, Wi-Fi here. So that should be all good. I think we're all back at the start. So I'll say the first things we need to do is do the alignment and stuff. So we'll set all that up. I'm guessing that they'll probably be pretty good there, but we might have to go through and check it. All right, guys, we've got um, you know, all this stuff all connected and everything and all set up. So um, here we go, we're gonna fire it up for the first time. It's alive! We're gonna start waiting for it to start up and go into its um, little boot sequence. It's gonna possibly align itself or do something I'm guessing. Got some lights flashing on the side over here. So it must be booting itself up. Nice flashing lights on in here. Oh here we go. Got the screen coming on here. So we might just take this plastic off of this. Rip that off. Nice and shiny. It's making a few clicking noises. There we go. Sounds like something's, I oh, have better lining. And there goes the laser head, it's homing itself. And it's all parked and ready to go. So there you go, what our laser is, is actually a epilogue Fusion Pro, the 24 inch, it's a dual source laser. So it's got a 50 watt uh, CO2 and a 30 watt fiber laser. So we better uh, start showing some, some jobs that we can do um, with that size laser, which is a 610 by 610 work area. And we'll be able to show jobs that we can do with the CO2 or with the fiber, as well as a few little things that you can do using both lasers at the same time, which is gonna be pretty cool. So make sure you stay tuned for some more videos. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Um, hit that bell icon down there. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. See you on the next one.